NASA has confirmed that its Phoenix lander has discovered water on Mars. Until now, evidence of water on the red planet has only been circumstantial. Joining us now on the line is space expert Jonathan Nally. A very exciting bit of news this morning, Jonathan. It certainly is, considering that uh, for the last oh, 10 years or so, this is what they've been looking to find on Mars, uh, water on the planet. Now, this is water in the form of ice that's underground. But uh, that's where they were expecting to find it, and I guess they're very happy to have done so. Take us through the process of just how Phoenix actually found the water, because that's a fascinating process of how it all come, came about. It is. Phoenix is a lander, not a rover, so it can't move around. It's stuck in the one spot, but it has this long robot arm that can dig into the ground. So they were getting down under the surface to where the soil was fresh, if you like, where they thought there might be ice, and they've scraped a bit away and put it into one of their mini chemical laboratories. Amazing instruments, a whole laboratory packed into the size of your hand, essentially. And what they've done is they've added, added uh, some chemicals and heated it up and saw it come off of it. And they've actually evap evaporated um, ice into water. So they're actually sniffing and tasting the Martian soil. And so what they've located now with ice is... is is the presence of a chemical that could possibly support life. And they're also now looking for extra chemicals that, say, microbes could use for food, organic chemicals or sulphur chemicals, the sort of um, food that microbes use here on Earth. How amazing. Uh, what chance were they given of finding this? They were pretty John. certain they would find some water there in the form of ice because orbiting spacecraft around Mars detected large amounts of hydrogen um, under the ground up in the northern part of the planet where Phoenix is. The hydrogen, of course, is part of water. It could have been something else, but they were pretty, pretty sure it was water. And also, over the past few weeks, as Phoenix has been doing its work there and taking photos with its camera, they've seen that uh, some stuff they've dug up over a few days has evaporated, or, or vanished at least. Now sand and soil and rock doesn't just vanish in front of your eyes, but water and ice will over a few days, of course, evaporate.